there's some other ways to add things into your service order. So let's go to this add menu up here. And I'm going to add a few songs. I don't know which songs I want to add, though. I want Planning Center to help me browse my songs. Now, I do know that I don't want them at the end. I want them in my worship set. So if I just click, it will add it to the end. So instead of clicking, I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag this little handle where it says song. And I'm going to put this, let's just say, right here in my worship set. I don't know what song it's going to be yet, but it's going to be one of these, and it's going to go there. So here is my whole song library. I can use any of my filters that we'll talk about later to narrow these songs down. Or I can just search through these and find a song that I want and click it and it will add it. But what if I want to add multiple songs? I can actually, at the very top right here, it says option click or there's a little button to add multiple. So I'm just going to click this add multiple. And notice now there are check boxes next to each one of these. If I want to do Your Love Never, Never Fails and then Oceans and then let's say Open Up the Heavens. Um, oh, it chose A flat, but that's not what I want. I actually want this in B flat. Great, chose that. It's going to now give me a button to add three. When I click this button, all three of those songs get added in the order that I clicked them and um, have all the information that is set correctly there. So that's a really quick way to add multiple songs to your service. In this song drawer, we can add new songs as well. What if you're browsing that list and there's a song that you want to do that is not in here? Like, oh, that's a new song we haven't added. No sweat. You could go to your songs um, page, your songs library, but you don't have to. You actually can add a new song right from here. So let's click New, and I want to do this song, Who You Say I Am. Who You Say. So I'm going to search, and there are two different databases you can search. Recordings, popular recordings of this song, and these um, are provided by multitracks.com. Or you can search for things that maybe don't have a recording. Maybe they do, but it's ones that who knows if they have recordings or not. These are songs, uh, this database is provided by CCLI. So it's a more comprehensive list of songs because not all of them are even recorded. I'm going to stay with my popular recordings because I want to do this Hillsong Worship version of Who You Say I Am. So I'm going to click this. Now because it is getting this information from multi-tracks, they've got a whole bunch of information there, including what key it's normally in, the beats per minute, tempo, all, yeah, that's the same thing, <laughs> um, and a whole bunch of other information. I'm going to customize some. It's originally in G flat. I, I think I do want to play it in that key, but I better have a capo or my musicians will go on strike, at least the acoustic guitar player will. So let's go um, and add a capo in E here. Uh, I've integrated with some of my song um, integrations for song select lyrics and chord charts. So I'm going to choose all of those items and we're going to click submit here. So behind the scenes, it made a new song. It asked multitracks about that song. It has imported that song and it's now added that song to my plan. Now it's going to be importing those files that go along with the song over the next couple of minutes and the next time I come back, the files will also be here. But so now I've got who you say I am um, added to this plan and I've just added a new song right from the plans page.